What's going on, guys? I'm showing you a bubble elevator that's invisible, all right? So what you're gonna need is a water bucket, or three, sorry, three water buckets if you're in survival. You're going to need three dispensers, anything to power it. I'm gonna choose redstone blocks, because I like them. Um, next, you're going to need three buckets. Then you go and find soul sand. You need one soul sand. Then, uh, you can choose nine of any block. I'm gonna choose glass, so you can see what's happening. Um, first I need to find, I think it's blocks? Yeah, construction. So, first, you need to place, um, you break one block, place soul sand, place three blocks like this, like how I am. So that's nine. Then, you're going to need... Uh, dispensers. Place one facing in. Oh, didn't need to place that. Uh, I need to s get down. Crouch. Yeah. All right. So now you need three dispensers on top of each other, facing inward. Place a bucket in each of them. All right. It doesn't matter where you put put it because it's always gonna use it. Then place three water buckets, or you place one water bucket at the top and then place. Oop. Crap, keep messing up. I'm not a professional. Remember that. So now you should be all ready. See? Bubble elevator. Now, pl activate all three of the dispensers. So that sucks up all the water. Now you have water, three water buckets. Um, break all the blocks except for soul sand. Do not break it. So now you have an invisible bubble elevator. Look, as you can see, I had one over there from the beginning. But, uh, yeah. So I thought that was a pretty cool. So now you can build a bubble elevator in your own world. I think it still places the water effects or it's just because it's raining. Yeah, it still places the water effects, even though there's no water. So now you can have a block free bubble elevator without taking up much space. And it's invisible, which is actually kind of cool.